for a kind introduction. Let me assure you, and let me assure you, if it wasn't Winston-Salem and it wasn't Wake Forest University, I'm not sure that I would have as easily agreed to pinch hit for a no-show. <laughs> it was tough enough for me to commit to come and introduce Mel Martinez. It's even tougher to try to fill in for him. Mel and I are extremely good friends. I had my uh, factual introduction of Mel Martinez all prepared, and I was willing to come in here and tell you some things that you probably would never learn unless I shared them with you, but I will forgo those today since uh, he's not here. Let me just say, uh, we are well blessed in this country because people like Mel Martinez commit to serve. He has not only uh, served in the United States Senate, he was the Secretary of HUD. Mel is somebody who truly is committed to solutions. And I emphasize that because much of what I will talk about relative to immigration is uh, truly about the will of the American people to let the legislative process take place. Mel is a devoted father and husband. He immigrated to the United States when he was 15 from Cuba, and he truly is one of the many success stories that we have in the United States from around the globe who now call this country home. It's uh, my understanding that you have had a wonderful, I think, two days, and that it's been informative and an opportunity to hear from uh, really all sides, to hear from individuals who are truly experts, to hear from people and organizations that take distinctly different views as it relates to the policy of immigration. Let me make it perfectly clear. I am not here to uh, talk about the policy. I'm not here today to pick a side if there are sides. The purpose of me agreeing to do this is to try to give you some insight as to why this is difficult, why the Congress is influenced by what the American people that it is healthy to have an organization come in and say immigration is costly, immigration is unfair, or on the other side, immigration is market driven and immigration uh, really is because our economy needs workers. And I would suggest that there's potentially nothing that's wrong, but you can't necessarily assume that it's right. This is an issue that requires a degree of education by everybody to understand the intricacies of it. So let me suggest to you today that my intent is to cover three areas. One, global migration. And when I refer to migration, I mean in and out of areas. Two, North Carolina migration. And three, why legislation stalled slash what's next. 